Hi guys and welcome to Brave Dog Training Online's Women Power. Have you ever set the goal for your dog? And if not, how are you going to reach whatever you want from your dog? Today we're gonna talk about goals. Enjoy! Alright, so whenever we want something in life, we have to set a goal or otherwise we don't know where we are going to, <laughs> right? It's like if you're planning a trip, right? If you want to do some kind of road trip and you're already done packing and you just get in your car and you start driving, if you don't have a goal, you will just run out of gas at some point and then either be happy with where you ended up with or not. <laughs> but there is no, no control over the situation. So whenever you want to reach something, you need goals. And it's the same thing with your dog. For example, if your dog goes crazy whenever he sees another dog, you have to have a clear picture of what you want your dog to do, except going crazy. And our brains do not understand no. So, what I hear when I ask for goals from a client in our first appointment, and we do that on a first in our first session, and over time again and again to see if the goals change. But in the first session, if I ask for a goal, what I get most of the time is I want my dog not to do X, Y, Z, or I want my dog to stop whatever. And this does not work because try this. Imagine your dog does not bark at another dog. Do you see your dog barking in your mind's eye? If yes, congratulations, you're human. <laughs> if not, congratulations, you have evolved. You're still human, but you have trained to see what you actually want to see. And this can be your goal. So, for example, we had a lot of dog barking again. And my goal for her when we got her was to be calm and stay with me while the other dogs bark. That is a goal I can visualize. If I just had in mind she should not bark, there is nothing I can actually work on, right? And it's the same thing for our dogs. If we want them to stop doing something, they cannot do nothing. We have to teach them what we want for them to stop what we don't want. It sounds difficult, but I teach her that when they bark, she gets a reward when she stays with me. So I'm teaching her what I want to see. I'm not teaching her to stop, I'm just teaching her what I want to see. And this is always the more friendly and the more sustainable way for our dogs, right? So. Why don't you write me in the comments what you want to change with your dog, what your goals are at the moment with your dog, and really focus on a positive wording, because it is what our brains need to actually know what to do, and it is what we need to teach our dog what we actually want to see. That said, I wish you a lot of fun with your goals and a lot of fun reaching them as fast as possible. Until next time. Bye.